of an artwork tends to be called its provenance. So that goes from it being painted, let's say, or, or made in whatever way it was created, to the people who buy it and the auction houses it gets passed through and the museums it ends up with. And then whoever is using it in those museums, usually the curator, but it can be a conservator, as you say, it can be a cleaner. Um, it all adds to the story of the painting. So I see myself as just one snapshot within this long history of an artwork that will continue on for hundreds of years, I hope. By telling the stories, you, you either telling someone something new or you're keeping it alive in people who know minds, I suppose. You tell someone something that they hadn't seen or they didn't know or you've brought something to life for them. I mean, it's not earth shattering the difference, but if you've enhanced the business even in the smallest way, then, then that's a nice thing. You get good job satisfaction in that respect. Art can uh, be soothing. Um, it can help you to just relax. Uh, and also, I think sometimes it, it can make, make you think um, deeper than, than you would no, normally do. I've never really been a, a big lover of art. Um, but before I worked here, um, art was just something that happened. These days, um, I would say it's less about the formal qualities of an artwork so um, I'm gesturing generally at the artworks behind me. So they're paint on canvas in the most part, they're colours against different colours. Um, these days, yeah, it's less the formal qualities of what it looks like than the stories that you can tell using these as the basis of a narrative. I think uh, having observed the thought that goes into the uh, actually pre presenting the artworks by the curator is uh, just amazing. Um, just simple things like the height that they set it at, um, the font of the um, uh, explanation labels, uh, the way the lighting is actually um, controlled. Um, it's an awful lot more technical than, than people really appreciate. I have a concept or a theme, um, that's what the exhibition is going to be about, and then I will um, look at the artworks that fit that theme, and I will say to myself, which are the best ones that for the visitors would make the strongest point about that story that I'm trying to tell? and then I will um, like put them in a line. Not the actual paintings, the actual, I'll do, a little, I'll do a little printout and um, move them around. The moment that a person walks into the building, they get straight away the wow, wow factor. Visitors, um, when you're on the desk, sometimes walk in and you can just see the jaws drop. Um, it, it looks quite impressive on the outside, but once you get indoors and you see the grandeur, uh, I think an, an awful lot of people have uh, been here and said it, the building itself is a work of art. Um, once you go through those doors, it is like a little bit of a haven. You can't hear all of the busy city noises outside um, and it just transports you back in time. Uh, and it, it's, it's actually enhanced my actual um, slant on, on life and uh, I really enjoy being here. You can learn a lot, sometimes more, from art that you don't like. Um, things maybe more questions you can have and what the artist is thinking. Um, so yeah, I've learned a lot from working here. It's definitely sort of opened, opened my mind. Um, so yeah, there is that sense that I'm here looking after people, but also this amazing building. I feel part of its history. So for me, loving history and kind of hoping that at some, some point somebody will look back on things like this and go, 
I'm all right, Kim was part of the visitor services team. I feel like I am part of the fabric of the building now. I'm helping people in a different way, because sometimes you think, I wonder what would have happened if I'd gone into, you know, animal care or nursing, where I'm actually physically feeling like I'm helping someone, but I've got to realise that sometimes I am helping people, but just in a different way. Uh, I think art is very important for mental health. Um, and I think this gallery does offer quite a lot to people and I'm very proud of the place that I work in and the job that I do. It is very much like and has the same sort of amount of research and just general work that goes into it as doing a documentary, writing an article or a chapter for a book. Um, it's, a lot of, it's a lot of work and it takes a lot of thought enabling different stories to be told and I can use the same artwork but put it in different exhibitions and draw out different stories through that so it's not one narrative it's a multiplicity so in that way you're also building a story about the artwork and so it's this continual flow of history. Ha, ha, ha.